Okay. Mosek Torah Mahi Osin. Bo. What did they do with the leftover Ketores? Mafisha men of Schar Umnin. They would set aside the money that's owed to the artisans, to the craftsmen, Umachalan Uso, Almos, and they would actually redeem it, transfer the Kedusha onto money. Almos Umnin. Nosal Umnin. Then you give it to the Umnin. Bishoran. Right? So you pay them the money. And then you repurchase the Ktores from the with the new coins. If the coins arrive in time, okay, you buy with Vimlav. Use the Ktores, although the Ktores is from last year coins. You have no choice. So I asked a question. So here, I mentioned yesterday, the carbonate has two pshatim. The Hegdish is Bechal El El. What does that mean? That the money you give to the Umnin, you pay them from where? From from the uh, the Taklin Chartid Atikit, the old coins, right? That's where you pay them from. So those coins at that time, they still have Kedusha. The question is, how do they have Kedusha? If, you, if you're giving it to them, they have no Kedusha. What's the worst question, right? Two more says, you, 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 you're, you're redeeming Hegdish with Hegdish, because the Torah says Hegdish, and the coins that you give to the Umnin also have their Kodish. What do you mean their Kodish? How do you give it to them? Right? No, no, no. Originally, no, 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 no. That's Kumar's answer. I'll go see what he's calling. Yeah, 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 what's, what's, Bob? what's the Morris question? See, that Carbonator says two Pshati. The second shot he says, the money you owe to them is an intangible. You can't transfer something onto an intangible. Right? The, the artisans, they worked. So it says, you know what you do? You transfer it on to what you owe them. Right? If they would have created something, okay, so you transfer it on. So you transfer it on to the stones. Right? Onto their, their, their let's say, their, their masons. Okay? So the this, this stonework, you transfer it on. But the first shot, he says, what do you so how do you give it to them? The coins themselves. If the coins are Kodesh, how do you give it to the woman? You can't pay it. Evidently, you're giving them, the Kedusha goes off. So, and the Gemara answers. Omer of Shimon Bar Bishnah, maybe most umchalin al I mean, and that's what the Gemara says. You take the money, which has Kedusha, you transfer the Kedusha onto their work. Onto their work. Let's see, he's a mason. Onto the stonework, and now, so the money now is chulin. Umevi ktores umchalalein. Now you take the ktores which has kedusha, and you transfer onto the money which they have, which they were given as payment for their right for their work. Venoso salavumnin b'schoron, and now you give the what? You give the ktores to the the most ktores to what? Right. Now, the question is, now that you transferred the Kedusha of the Ketores onto the money, the money originally has Kedusha. You transfer it onto the stonework, right? Onto the masons. So now the money itself is Chulin. Now you take the Ketores that's left over, you transfer the Kedusha onto the money. So now, what is the Ketores? The Ketores is Chulin, right? Because you transfer the Kedusha. Now, you take the new coins, and you buy the Ketores... Back from the from the artisans, you purchase it back. You have, you have to get the kedusha off the what's his name off the ktoris. So you take the, the old coins, you pay the artisans, and but the old they have kedusha. You tra have to transfer the kedusha off. So you transfer from the coins onto the onto the structure they built, right? Onto the stonework. So now what's the money? Money's chulin. Now you say the kedusha of the ktoris should be transferred onto these ordinary coins now that originally had Kedusha. Right? So now, you, now so who owns the Ketoris now? The artisan. The, um, the woman. And now, we need, but we need Ketoris for, for, for Nisan. You take the new coins and you, you purchase it with the new coins. No, so it goes on to the Chulin. So the Kedusha of the new coins go on to the Ketoris. Yeah. So the answer is, why scratch your left hand with your, with, with your right toe, right? So he says, because to go directly and buy it, to sell it on the market, it's, it's, it's a bazillion. It's, it's not respectful. 
so you pref we prefer to do it this way. And we have to get it off? Right, 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 now right. The stone work which they did, which now has Kedusha. What does have Kedusha? So it's not open. No, but originally the, the stones were ordinary stones. The Kedusha came as a result of the Kedusha. The, no, initially they were not consecrated. No, 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 no. They consecrated afterwards. And they said, so how does it get it? Let's say they have to repair. They have to repair. They have to repair. They have to put a new stone in. They don't consecrate. They put the stone, and now they transfer the kedusha from the money goes onto the onto the stone. And if we wouldn't have gotten into this when they put the new stones into the base of the kedusha. Then, then, then it's cool. No, they, no, they, they would. They, they would consecrate. Then they would consecrate it. They have to consecrate the, the, a physical act. Sir, yeah, yeah. Verbal, a verbal, a verbal act, verbal act. New stones. But here they do it through transfer of kedusha from the coin onto the stone. Okay. Now, now the question is, what do you do with the money now? The money itself has the kedusha of the of the of the Ketoris from last year. So what do you do with these coins? So basically, these coins they become like takna tikin, correct? Except it's not the old coins which have this generic kedusha. It has a specific kedusha. It has the kedusha of what of the old Ketoris on the coins. What do you do with it, right? So now the question: Oso mos mayasaben, Rabbi Omer. The families who are the <coughs> ones who actually were experts in making the Torahs. How did they? How were they paid? You take that money and you pay them for their wages. So because since the original was Torahs, it's used for Torahs. See, so now the question: Where does the kedusha go? No, no, that, that's the, that's a problem because the Torahs. This Ketoris is new Ketoris that's going to be used for what? Right. For this year. Yes. That Kedusha that's on, on that money is, is old Kedusha. No, I know, I understand, but, but, I understand, but it has to tra be transferred onto something. Until now, we spoke about the Kedusha of the money has to go onto something, correct? It goes on to their work. So you'd say it goes on to the Ketoris. If you're paying from new coins, okay, which we said earlier, right? You could pay wages from the new coins. But so we say, you also use it for the, for also for their wages. No, 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 no. You're using it for base gormo. So that means, it has to, if, is, is it their work, or is it the, the, end, the end result of their work? If it's the end result of their work, that's the Torah itself. That's the new Torah they made. The Kedusha on those coins are, is old Kedusha. We don't want it to go on to that. It's Kedusha of Ketoris, the old Ketoris. Right? Their wages are usually taken from the... Uh, yeah, but see, normally, but it doesn't work, bother me normally. Let's say they take it from the new coins, correct? Albert, if you take from the new coins. So you have ordinary Ketoris, so the Kedusha of the new coins transfer on to... So these co coins, it's called new kedusha. It's the new kedusha, but over here, this is old kedusha. The kedusha transferring on to that kedusha, you don't want to transfer it on to that, and you can't transfer it on that what you owe them because it has to transfer on to something. It has to be tangible. Right. So that's my question. What are you transferring it on to? So I think that again, this is going to be a late bezdin masne. That we, we go with bezdin. That's the, the question is only what do I use it for? Mm -hmm. Factually. The Kedusha goes nowhere. I mean, retroactively, they, the coins are considered Chumen. We only deal with it because since it was originally transferred onto that, what is the proper usage? Yeah, well, what happens if the original money, they never had a right to consecrate the money? Chulen uh, retroactive. But then it becomes a little problematic. Yeah. You know why? Because it makes Rukhun retroactive, so then the Ketores, so the Ketores that, we, tr that we, we bought with the new coins, retroactively is not, is not Ketores. Right? right? It, it becomes complicated. This, this, this is my difficulty here with this Gemara. Amrev Shmuel Barav Yitzok, Vein Shu Chayovin Len Mos Mishor Rishona. 
that when do you pay the wages? That's only, it's not for the future, it's money, you owed them wages from before. So since it's old, old wages, yeah, but, so, but again, let's get back to what is the, but where does the Kedusha go? Right. right? That's the problem. Nobody speaks about it over here. I know, but the Kedusha has to go on to something. What does it go on to? That's my problem. Right? What are we yeah. transferring on to? Okay, we'll leave it. It's a side. No, 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 no. Well, the, the coins, I understand. The coins themselves have Kedusha. What does the Kedusha go on to? It, can't, it has to go on a t- No, but it's old Kedusha. No, but that Kedusha is gone already. We, sack, we burnt it already last year. The Ketoros they produced last year, we turned it into new Ketoros. Because we bought it with the new coins, right? So now we're giving them back coins with old Kedusha. You can't pay them just for wages. It has to be on something concrete. But until now we said, they have Kedusha. Where does the Kedusha transfer onto? It has to transfer onto a tangible. What's the tangible it's transferring onto? They do have Kedusha. Wait, the Ketores, you transfer onto those coins. Right? Now we said, the Masons, the Artisans were out of the picture. Right? The Artisans are out of the picture. No. No, because... No. No, no, that would say... The Ketores, we paid them with Ketores. We paid the artisans before with the Ketores. Exactly. Now, nah, but the Ketores, wait, the Ketores has Kedusha. No. We, 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 we took, we took Taklan Kharatin, Kharatin. So the Taklan Kharatin went on to the Ketores. On to the old, to the old Ketores is like Chulin. Right. Now, the, now what kind of Kedusha is there, does the Ketores have? New Kedusha, new Kedusha. From, from the new coins. From the new, we had two sets of coins over here, correct? We took the old coins, we transferred it onto the binyan, onto the, onto the stonework. Correct? Now we take, right, and that we give to the, what's his name? So the, no, I give to, so what kind of coins do the artisans have? They have chulin coins, correct? Now you take those chulin coins, they're old, but they no longer have kedusha on them. Wait, but they're old coins. Now it's regular chulin coins. You purchase, they take those coins, and they, what's his name? And they buy the Ketoros with those coins. That's what they do. They buy those coins, the Ketoros with those coins. Correct? No, excuse me. They have Ketoros. I take those coins and I buy the, the Ketoros back from the artisan. From the stone, from the mason. What kind of Kedusha does it have? They do have Kedusha. They do have Kedusha. They have Kedusha from last year. We haven't... Y- we buy the coins from, again, start over again. <coughs> Where did the Ptores... But what kind of Kedusha does it have? Wait, the Ptores, what kind of Kedusha does it have? It has new Kedusha. Because you purchased it with new coins. It, no, no, what do you... You bought, bought the Ptores with new coins. That's what it says before Ish. Right? Chumah Chadosha. Chumah the new one. So now the question is, but we had coins that were originally, we transferred the Kedusha from the old Kedoras onto, new, onto the old coins. The old coins, where, what am I paying them? I'm paying them with old coins. But the old coins have Kedusha. That, so we, that Kedusha we transfer onto, onto the wall, onto the stone. Those coins are regular coins. It has no, 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 no. Those coins are new, uh, regular coins. Once you transfer Kedusha, it's like money you have in your pocket. It's like ordinary money now. No, no, you don't have to. We have enough coins that they send people send Machza Shekel after Nisa. We have the new Machza Shekel. They send specially for the new year, they send new coins. That's what I buy the new Katoris with. 
I buy the Ketoris, which the Kedusha was removed from, I buy that Ketoris with the new coins that arrived for the new year. So the Ketoris is fine. The ones that you transfer the Kedusha off. Yeah, it's regular money. So if you take the new coins now that have Kedusha... But now I have, I have money that has the Kedusha from the Ketoris. Where the Ketoris was transferred onto coins. I transferred the Kedusha from the coins onto the wall... Then I transferred the, the Ketores onto those coins. Right? Because the coins now are regular coins. So, so now I said, what do I do with those coins? Well, so it says know. you pay base Garmo. You pay base Garmo. Well, he's got, he's got so you have to get it off somehow. You're paying for wages. But now how do you transfer from those coins onto, onto what? No, you're not buying new Ketoris. New Ketoris is not, it's going to be a problem. Because these coins have Kedusha. No, but they're not. That's the argument here. What do I use it for? No, Ketoris. Only they. And what do you pay for them? For wages from last year. Right? Because the Kedusha is old Kedusha. Right. So when you purchase the, 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 the that's only for kitsam is that's if you old kitsam is bear, because that that is relevant. The only you only have to have new coins, the new kedusha, for for korbanos that you're obligated to bring every day. The right. tomid, these are voluntary. These are all voluntary korbanos. So then you use it for that. Yeah, but what's the base garment? Base garment is not voluntary. That's ketores. There's no such thing as a voluntary you ketores. For that. They have. They've got to now take some of the, of the old ones and give it. I know she'd be. Yeah, 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 yeah. And where did the Kedusha go on from those coins onto what? Okay. Yeah, but w w what kind of money went into that pocket? Yeah, but this money became extra sanctity. To me, I'm still a little bit confounded over here. The money they get, no, normally true as Lushka said, it could go on to the Torahs. What kind of carbonus are they using to buy? Carbonate Sibur. Carbonate Sibur has come from the from the from the Trum Chadosha. Carbonate Sibur have to come from from. The what do you buy? You buy the service vessels. That's what you buy. So can I ask you a question? So what do they get in their pocket? You're paying them their wages, but bottom line, they get nothing. Uh, no, you buy you buying what? You buy service vessels. Yeah, which they they then give uh, you know good based on it. So what you want to give? To, they should donate their wages. That's what they're doing. Eventually, you got to get it off some water. How can they do anything else with it? And that's my question. Can they swap these? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> no, they own from last year. Since the Kedusha is old Kedusha, you're paying for the old wages. But I, okay, so you pay, that's my question. So you're paying old wages. But on what, when you pay him the wage, you have to transfer the Kedusha off the money. <laughs> so, you, so you give that those old ones. But you swap those with a base on Mikdash. With, with, right. with the treasurer. Exactly. You, you bring them there and say, here, I'm giving you this bag. This For what? Kedusha, For and what? You give, me, new, you give me ones that are new from the new, the new ones. But now. the Kedusha has to go. That have, don't have yet. And, and what? You haven't yet tied from them. You haven't taken anything from them yet. So what, what if they don't have Kedusha yet? I'll take some non kedusha coins from my kedusha coins. And then, then the base I make this has them, he can buy service vessels. Okay. And, I, and the artisan gets his money. And everybody's happy ever after. No, catch them. No, that's, that's ultimate. No. The question is, do you give it straight to them? You give it to kids as well. Let's go. Okay. Gimel. Um. Yeah. Further. Also Rabibi, also Boch, Bishem Rabchio, Shem Rabiosi, Mekaitz Menesim Zbech. That's what you do with the money. Okay, that's easy. That's an easy one. Rabbo Bar Koin, Boy Kumei Rabiosa. He posed the question. Mechal Feshitza de Rabchio, Botam et Srikolo, Kopshita Le dot Srikha Beklishoris. Second, what's the question again? Just in one second. Uh, there you go. One second, one second. Rabbi Yochanan says, Well, how did not wait for Marie and Taurus? One second, one second. Uh, <coughs> he says, originally he asked the question, what do you use it for? And now it seems to be simple that you use it for, as he says, for the... Where is it? Back here. No, but no, originally he posed the question. He posed the question. What do you do with the money? Right? And over here he says... Rab bor ba koin boi kumi rab yosi machal fashitzi to rab chiyoch bar bo tamon tzri chalei ko pshitalei to tzri chalei in bakli shoris Oh, I, I, don't, I don't know what this is. What's that? What was the original? If, if this was known to Rechayi why did he raise the inquiry to begin with? Murray asked the question, what do you do with the money? Right? Yeah. Right. Which, which, where do you raise the question? Where do you raise the question? Now here it is, because we skipped it. It says, they had to owe the money originally. They had to owe the money originally. So he says... From the previous year. From, yes. Rav Chia Bar Bo Boi. Lo Hoyu Chayvun... That's it. Rav Chia Bar Bo Boi... We skipped that line. Lo Hoyu Chayvun Omos Mishor Rishona... What about if they didn't owe him originally? What do you do with the money? That's the question. If they owed him, one thing. What if they didn't? On that he says, Rebbo b'shem Rebchia b'shem Rebiosi mekaitzem isbech. That's what you do. Rebbo b'koim boy kumi Rebiosi mechal for shitzei the Rebchia b'abo tamon tzri chaleik v'kop shita leik hod tzri chaleik b'klishoris hod shita leik b'kaitzem isbech. I don't know how to read this. He says, 
the Rabbi Bishem Rabbi Chia Bo Omer Lo Masai Um Mishani Hain Tzri Chol Lei Hod Gemar Lei Im Hain Bo In Lekli Shari Is Kishari Lishko Oh the Havelu Kemaisa Trumas Al Lishko Right That Was The Question What Was the, do, do You Use It Like For Kli Shari To Treat Like Shari Al Lishko Those Are The Coins That Left Over Or Like Moser Trumas Al Lishko Which Is Used For Kids In Mizbech Vari Boin The Af Moser Trumas Al Lishko Kites In Mizbech Bo is Palgun the Pligibo, Rabbiosi Rechio, Rabbiosi Bar something. Yeshua ben Levi. Right. It goes back to a basic question about this, whether the incense has to be prepared in the service vessel or not. No, no, I understand that. No, no, no. 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 No, but I'm going before. The original said, originally says you use it in the What about, he posed the question, what about if you don't know him? What do you do it? What do you do with the money? Mekaitzin. Mekaitzin. Why is the answer? Why is the answer? Why is Yeah. Yeah. So what was the original question? What was the original question? He originally yes to the question. No, he asked the question, what do you do with it? So what was the question? So what was the original question? So what was his question? I said, so what was his question? That was the question. Why are you saying it? 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 Why are you Okay, the Mar says pitma b'chulin. What about if you you made the ketores with a vessel that was chulin, not 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 consecrated? Rabbi Yosi be Rab Chanino Omar Psula. He says it's possible. It's not. It has to be made with a kli kodesh, and if it's not a kli shores, it's possible. Rabbi Shuban Levi Oksheira. Rabbi Shuban Levi says it's kosher. It's valid. My time to Rabbi Yosi Bar Chanino. Why does Rabbi Shuban Levi say it has to be a kli kodesh? Because it says kodeshi. Since it says regarding Torah, it's called Kodeshi, Shteik HaViyosim Kedusha. It has to be made through Kedusha. So if it's not a Klisho race, it's not valid. Because the question is this, I mean, why can't you make with Chulin? And then consecrate it, be Magdashit, right? The answer is because the Torah says Ki Kodeshi, that it has to have a Yosim Kedusha. It has to come about through Kedusha. Matam Shubin Levi, Kodeshi. What is Kodeshi? Shtei Bo Mitzubas Alishko. As long as it's purchased with the coins, which there was a transfer of kedusha on it, you could use the, the kli could be kli chulin. The, meaning the, the more than pestle that you use to crush the summon don't have to be consecrated. Doesn't have to be a kli shoris. That's the argument. Rabbi Yoschanin says kodesh means that it has to be made with with the utensil has to be kodesh. Shuban Levi says no, the utensil has not be kodesh, but it has to come from shumas alishka. Om Rabbi Yosi bar Rebun. Also, ask your Rabbi Yosef Bechanina to Shmuel. Rabbi Yosef Bechanina goes like Shmuel, or Rabbi Shubat Levi to Rabbi Yochanan. Okay, the Tninon Hamagdish Nechosa for all your behind Dvorim Ruim the Korbano Sibor. Here, person consecrated all his personal possessions, and in the possessions there were things that could be used that qualified for Korbani Sibor. Rabbi Yochanan Bekatoris. The Rabbi Yochanan says, what, what qualifies for carbon eat seabor? Torahs. Now, how was the Torahs made? If it was personal possessions, it's chulin. Correct? Yeah, he makes it his house. So if that's the case, so according to Rabbi Yosef Rechanin, it's possible, so how could it say in the, bra, in the Mishnah? That it, it, you could use it, so evidently Rabbi Yochanan holds, like Rabbi Shubham Levik, right? That it doesn't have to be, the, 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 the tensile doesn't have to be that. Yeah. Um, so but how does, how does he reconcile this 
with according to Rabbi Yosef, according to Shmuel, he possible uman nishal beis avtinus shayinotel b'scharok tores. Now, but the question is, hear yeah, this? It's very good. But we said it has to come from the from the from the trumas alishko. If it was his personal possession, it didn't come from trumas alishko. The pers- the Imorians is the one who was Magdish, is Nechosim. He was from the family that made the Ketoris. And he was paid the wage from the Trumas Halishka. As a result of that, the, Trumas, the money from Trumas Halishka went out to the Ketoris. So the utensil that he used was Chulin. Where did they get its Kedusha from? From the Trumas Halishka, from the money that he was paid. No, so that's how we work it out according to Reb Shub and Levi. Right? What it, the carbon seaboard is being by Ketoris. I, but, we're, but it has to come from Ketusha's Machsa Shekel. The answer is, so what does this man have to buy a shekel? The answer is, he's one of the artisans who makes the Ketoris. So his wage was Machsa Shekel from the new coins. So when he's paid from the new coins, where does that Ketusha go? It goes on to the Ketoris. Forget about Lech. It would be the same thing. Rabbi Yosef Rechanino Kishmuel. Dom Rafuna B'Shum Shmuel. Machteshes also also Kiklishoris Lakodesh. The machteshes, the the mortar that they used to crush that, that was a klisharis, because the, the the vessels have to be kodesh, according to Reb Shuv and Levi. Om Reb Yosi Babu and Omro Reb Chuno Kumid Reb Yosi Dovishe Kidesh beklisharis nifte. He says, so if it was made in a klisharis, so how do you take off the kedusha? Because what did we say earlier? No, now, now we have a problem. See, according to Reb, according to Reb Shub and Levi, what is the basis for the Kedusha of the Ketoris? It wasn't made in, in the Klisharis. So if it wasn't made in the Klisharis, it's the money from the, from the coins went on to, on to the Ketoris. So there, therefore it's what? You could can, can be poted. Right? But if it was made with a Klisharis, so that's Kedusha Zaguf. So that's Kedusha Zaguf. How could you take it off? On that he says, Rav Chun and B'chumen Yosef, Dvarosh Kiddush B'glisharis Nifter. He asked him, "Could you?" Amalei v'lo. The Shmuli. It cannot be taken in. What? Judah, when you travel on LL, did they tell you to shut your things? Okay. That's a question. That's, that's the difficulty. It says earlier that you pay, you give the Ketores to the, to the Umnim Bishoron, but if originally it was consecrated in a Klishores, how could it be Nifte? Omar lay below the Shmuli. The Shmuel Omar Kalud Bimoiser. This palgun, stop, kalu b'moser. The mosek torres, that's a leniency that you could. Although normally something that's consecrated with klishoris cannot, we'll see in a moment. <coughs> no, the Gemara is going to say live best master. The Gemara is going to say because it's. No, no, no. No, no. It's a special name. It's it's the Rabona will make it by Moshe Kochim. What's left though? No, 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 no. Even though the Klee's Kodesh, let's say you put my Ketoris into a Klee. Does the Klee Makadosh my Klee my my Ketoris? No. Why? Because it's only if it's meant to be there. So if we say Leib Bezden Master, we say Hefker Bezden Hefker. So because it's Moser, Chachomim said that it had no right to go in there. It's equivalent to saying it never had a right to go in there. Okay? Because the Gemara says, what about, that's Gemara, this Palgun Hosir Tmimim. We had earlier that you had six animals that were checked 
in the corral that you would use for the tomid, right? Every day you need two animals. Tomid Joshar, Tomid Shabin Abayim, that's six. So let's say there they was leftover, he had four left. And now it's Rosh Chodesh Nisan, what do you do with them? Those animals were bought with the old coins. So there's a question, you take the Kedush off. Shmuel Oman Niftin, Kitmimim. Shmuel says, Rabbi Yochanan, Niftin Kipsulim Mikdoshim. Yeah, meaning you you put it even though even though it's unblemished, according to Shmuel. Yeah, but but I but it's unblemished. It's unblemished. You can't, right? Yeah, that it, it, the answer is yeah. Shmuel Bam Nivni to me mean Lachshim Rishon is a Mechala Osa Mos Chulin Mos Yechul and Mos Hatshuma She Yishana became She Yotz Luchul and Chosim Don Chosim Chuma Chadosha Rishon Zuba Ava Gav Shein Beimus Kotche Yochid Mechalas Blo Munke Kaimlo. Mivim kol behemet tmeyo, da ilu shel tzibet niftum le best maslisi, u belo chulin, yev shel livdosa ni most chuma chadosha, shein hedjin chale hegdish, right? You have to remove the kedusha. The yiru, what does Rabbi Yochanan say? No, niftu kipsul mikdoshin, you have to wait till you get a moon. One second. So according to Shmuel, Shmuel says it's like Tmimim, when you want to purchase it with the new coins, you purchase it. According to Rabbi Yochanan, says no, it has to receive a mum. So according to Rabbi Yochanan, that the, the Machtesh is Muschulin, it's not a problem. But according to Shmuel, that it was Kodesh, how do you do it? The answer is no worse than Tmimim. Lev Vesden Masne. So it comes out of tremendous Chiddush. The Chiddush is not like you think. Let's say retroactively, it has no Kedusha. That's why you, you could redeem it, correct? According to Shmuel, it had to be made in the Klisharis. The Machteshes, the, the mortar and pestle were Kodesh. Right? Now, said the question, how could you redeem it? The answer is, it's no worse than Tamimim. They're unblemished animals. So an unblemished animal, they say, live, they, retroactively they revoke, they revoke it. Mm-hmm. So you purchase it like a regular animal. So what you didn't need... No, no, what my difficulty is, according to Shmuel, why does the Mahatashas have to be a cliche race? Of course, it's, it, from its very inception, it has to be Bikdusha. Has to be, but if you tell me retroactively, the cliche race didn't sanctify it, didn't sanctify it, No, the cliche is that definitely sanctified. No, right. but no, but it says ki kodeshi. What's the reason why it has to be made bikdusha? Bava yosin ye kodesh. When you make it, it has to be made bikdusha. The ktoris. Wait, if now. No, it's not from the exception of bikdusha unless the kli is. It's not but if retroactively they revoke the kedusha on the ktoris. Good, wait. Now we purchase it with new coins. This, co- this tells some person with new coins. Where does the Gedusha come from? From the Machteshes? But it's a problem. But it, it has to be made. Made. It has to receive its Gedusha from the Machteshes. Right? That's the difficulty here. The way they revoke it is they say because it didn't belong there. No, it was extra. We need because it's extra, therefore, they, they revoke the original Kedusha. Now, when they revoke the Kedusha, now it's post facto, it's already, we have Ketoris. So before we purchase it with the new coins, what, what is this Ketoris? It's Chulin. It's Chulin Ketoris that I'm purchasing with new coins. So now, but the Kedusha has to come about when it's made. It's no longer, because they revoked it. Now, now, now when it's bought. So how will reconcile this? I'm using it for the new next year. I'm using this Ketoris. I'm not throwing it out. I'm repurchasing the Moser. What it, that's what we talked about before. No. No, no. The Ketoris itself I'm using for the new year. What it, but it has to, be, has, to be, has to be pulverized in a cliche race. It's original Ketoris by Vayosin That's what we said. 
What about the catharsis for what? No. Retroactively, it's like it never had kedusha on it. This this Torah. But didn't they bring the Torah from their pride, from their home? Didn't we just say that you could bring it from your home, and then it became kedusha? No, 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 no. If you want to do it from your home, then according to Shmuel, mm -hmm. if you bring it from your home, then it has to be made in the klisharis. You can't. In your home. Yeah. In your home, you had to take the klisharis there. Yeah, so right. You, and you couldn't do it a different way. <laughs> no, how how otherwise how does it get kedusha? It has to be kedusha mm -hmm. in the klisharis. That's Shmuel's position. Right. You don't, right. Shmuel's difficult. Okay? Okay, have to answer it. Sirim, what about the Sirim? Right? You have you have Corbonus, which is Sirim, the goats. One second. Hosir Sib Shikoru at Sibur Mitchum Salishka. Right? On Rosh Chodesh they would bring a korban tzibur who was made searing. Al dati d'shmuel im olo. So he says, im olo d'niftes lo koshim chatos. We said, the regular tomid is what? Is an olo. So we say, t'mimim, you could watch, you could be po there. So over here, definitely should be able to be po there. Lak rivo, olo b'avagav shi minichan osa liros ha yishtai v'odnam im olo kizim izbech v'ikorev. What's the Kosh game? What's the Kosh game? If the Ola, we, we say it's redeemed. If you an Ola, definitely Khatos. What's the, what's the Kosh game? So the way no That's the way he explains it. I understand it that way. I am. If if Ola you, is if this definitely. I'm yeah, go ahead. What does that make sense? It's Meshulchan Gavoka Zochu. The Chatos, it's 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 Hegdish. What's the coach game here? It says you never, if you, that when they purchase it, they purchase it with a condition that if it's not needed, it never, it never got sanctioned. Th that's what I'm saying. But what's the coach? I want you to know and what's both the of, both the Ola and the, the boy, but it's been a coach game to the Chatos. It's not a partial sanctity. It's a shulchan gavoka zochu. It's shulchan gavoka zochu. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's not, it's not theirs. It's not moment going. Chatos is is is, is moment gavoa. The coin it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference, but it's Mama Gavo, it belongs to God. The way I understood it, we, we had a machlok if Chatos Tzibra is mace or not mace. If you have Chatos Tzibra's mace, Ola, you can bring it as an Ola. Say Ola, which is, does, doesn't go to waste. We, we say you're able to redeem it, so Chatos, if you don't change it into an Ola, definitely it's going to go to waste. That's the way I understood the Kalvah Homer. So the court is telling you that, but you don't need it. it no, the court, if the court goes and revokes the Kedusha of Ola, the although the Ola could have been used, it could have been used as an Ola, correct? Okay. So Chatos, which cannot be used as a Chatos. Right. But he's making it tonight. He's when it's first purchased, it, it's not used. But it's not because the Chatos, it's 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 taken. Uh, Yeah. No. What do we do? What do we do with the Ola? What do we do with the Ola that we redeem? Right? Let's say let's say we'd say you're actually What would you do with the money? What would I do with the money? You, you use it for kids of Mizbeach. Yeah. Right? That's what you use it. Use it right to, to occupy the Mizbeach. Yeah. So Chatos, if you'd let it roam, 
It also, you would use it for what's his name. That, that's the code. No, they didn't stand there. No, I, I'm just, I just want to know what the coach game is. What is the coach game? What is the coach game? In all the if there's still coach game chatos. I, I, this is what I think. No, I'll tell you where I think this is the coach game. Ola could be used for kids of Mizbeach. Right? As it is now. But yet, so I don't have to be potent. I don't have to be potent. Correct? I use it for kids of But can I use chatos for kids of Mizbeach? So definitely I should be potent. Ola which has a value now. And despite that, I revoke it. Chatos which cannot be used as now. Definitely I should revoke it. That's the that's where I understand the coach game. Yeah. No, but but that's why Ola I could use the Ola right this moment. Chatos I can't use it as as now. I have to let it get a mum first. Oh. And still I say you revoke it. So Chatos which you can't definitely you should revoke it. That's the Kalvachomer. Okay. Al Tatei Reb Yochan Reb Yochan says no. Right. We don't we don't revoke it. You let it get a mum and you put it. Al Dadi Reb Yochanan Amar Reb Zira Yiru Right Reb Yochanan says Yiru means you let it graze Yiru means graze and get a mum Amar Rav Shmuel Bar Rav Yitzchok Mekaitzim Menem Mizbeach What do you do with the money? The money after you pot it and you buy the new animal What do you do with it? Use it for kids and mizbeach. The kasha Yeshchatos Shekriva Ola We have a problem. The ch- see that means you tell me the chatos you let it graze and use the money buy an Ola. Correct? It's, it's difficult. If it, an Ola, you could use its money to buy an Ola. Right? But the Chatos, how to use it to buy an Ola? Right? The Kedusha that, uh, when I pulled, what am I being pulled? What am I redeeming? It originally had Kedusha's Chatos. Yeah. Now I'm redeeming a Chatos. So the Kedusha of the money is Chatos. How can I take Chatos money and bring an Ola? No, that's the one going to answer. That's what he answers. On Rabbi Yossi, Shanyu, he. When, do, when is an animal designated to as what it is? Bezdin designates that at the time of the Shechitas. Until then, it's a generic Kedusha. It's called Kodshi Mizbeach. Am Reb Chiyo, Tenai Bezdin, Wala Moshe Shikru, Olos. That's what he answers. That the Moshe, what's left over, will bring us an Olo. You know what's bothering. So once we're already saying, Tenai Bezdin, so why don't we say Tenai Bezdin, according to Reb Yochanan, on the actual animal itself? According to he, what he's answering, he's saying it's not based on the money. After it gets a mum, retroactively, I'm saying, right? He still says Yeru, correct? Afil chat shikru olos, avul shar chato shel tzibur emishtan and lios olos. Shani kor b'tzibur b'she nikvon l'she ma shu elu b'shchidos rozman shein chayim l'shus biad b'tzibur l'shenos l'mashi yurtu. Right? Yebarchatos. Oh, it's a soy. It's a it's a male. Could be used as a chatos. So, I mean, so according to that answer, so what, why why do you have to let it get a mum? Why let it get a mum? Bring it as an ola. It doesn't need pigeon. Right? Kondi Rabbi Yochanan. No, but I'm asking, according to Rabbi Yochanan, in either case, we're saying that when they consecrate it, it just has a ge- generic Kedusha, but it's not set in its place. Right. So bring it as an Ola. Why do you have to let it get a mum? Use it directly as an Ola. Right. So why don't you? Rabbi Yochanan says you have to let it graze, get a mum, redeem it, and then buy the animal for Kitzam is bear. Right? Well, what do you need? That, what, do you, what do you have to delay it? Take the animals and bring it as an ola. 
interactive uh, de designation, control of designation. You stipulated from the beginning. That we're answering him. We asked the question. That's the question. How could you use a chattis for an ola with the kedusha? Right? That's a Marantz's left best mast. It, do, either, it doesn't apply to carbon seed, but only from Right? That's what we're saying. So if that's the case, so bring it as a ola. No, but I'm asking a different question. What, are, according to, what do you do with ultimately with the money that you purchase to do carbon? You bring it as what? Kaitzam is bear. Right? Good, has been older. Good. So why, it says, what do you do with the old carbonos? He says, Yiru. You can't redeem it. Let it get a moon. What get a moon? Take the thing, bring it as Kaitzam is bear directly as it is. Why should you let it graze? No, no, he did two things. We're talking about two things here. You don't need have to redesignate it. Use it as it's from the old coin. Bring, so bring you for the, if, as long as it now it's a voluntary carbon. Bring it as the voluntary. Yeah, but we're talking about two things. Two things. We're talking. No, but. But the Gemara answers. But the Gemara says. But the Gemara says, not Shmuel. This is going contrary to Yochanan. Amar of Shumari. This is what he's saying now. Yiru. He says, and what do you do with the money? Who's that? He's going on Reb Yochanan. This is Reb Yochanan. Bekaitzim is veach. So Gemara asks question: How do you use the chatos for kaitzim is veach? So it says good. So, so let's get back to square one. So take the animal directly using the kids kites of his back. Why do you have to have it have a mum? So, you know what I understand? I understand. No, we're saying both, both, both. What Tamimim Rabbi Yochanan says is Niftin could psul mikdashin. Right? That's what he says. You will let it get a mum and take the money you buy. You to get, take the animal directly using the kites of his back. We are. We're talking about the carbon seed. Rabbi Yochan and Omar, Tamimim, what do you do with the animals in the corral? Rabbi Yochan says, Niftin, Ksul Mikdoshin. Right? So Rabbi Yochanan says, You let a graze get a mum and you put it. Why put it? Put, use it for voluntary carbon. Bring it when the Mizbech is, is not busy. Why, why should he have it get a mum? What are you going to do with the new money? You can use it for that anyway, right? So you take the one now and bring it as that. So you know what I understand? Albert, the animal originally was designated as a carbon seabor. A carbon seabor which is obligatory, not a voluntary carbon. Therefore, you can't, even though it's an old, you can't use it for that. Because its designation is carbon seabor which is obligatory carbon seabor. Once it gets the mum. Now it's called Moser. It's leftover. What do you do with leftover? That's used for voluntary. So even though originally it was an Ola, and even though originally it wasn't specifically designated as a Chatos, but it was designated as an obligatory carbon seabor. That you can't bring for Kaitzim Mizbeach. So therefore you have to have the conversion. You have to get a, get a mum, redeem it. What kind of Kedusha does it have now? Has Kedusha say Ola? Okay, now you can bring it. No, you don't bring it. No, you redeem it. You redeem it. Now you purchase a new animal. An unblemished animal. No, no, no. The original, you know, you have to let the first one graze. The animals you had in the corral were unblemished. You can't redeem an unblemished animal. You let it graze, get a mum, get the, the, the blemish. Redeem it on money, now you purchase a new animal. So my question was, what do you have to get a new animal? Use the original animals for, for, the, for the voluntary. The answer is, because course, it was obligatory. It was designated as an obligatory carbon. Ma? Chova. No, because it's the old coin, because it has the old Kedusha on it. It's not simple Gemara, it's Gemara. No. 
So it's good to Gemara now. Shmuel holds like Bezin Masna that retroactively the whole thing's revoked. Therefore, it's not a problem. You can be poted. And you use the same animal for what? For the new, for the new Korban, for the new year. And this is an obligatory Korban. Because it's like taking a, a, an animal that's chulin, using it for what? For, for, the, for the Korban Sibu. You purchase it with the, new, with the new, what's his name? No problem. So it comes out of Chiddush going to Shmuel. So really, it, 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 we're playing a game here. If we say retroactively, it was never redeemed. Yeah. It says, but you redeem it with the old coins and you use it for kites and misbeach. You could read, although it's, a, it's not, it's, it's a tummy. It's not unblemished. But why could you redeem it? You can't redeem a, an animal that's unblemished, correct? The answer, really, it's chulin. It's really chulin. And not really. I mean, of course, they revoked it. You're only going through the motions of redemption, but it really, it's not a true redemption. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, it's chulin to start with. Because it's, it was never consecrated. It's going to start with. Because you took it off. Right? Because Bezdin took it off. took it off, and now it's back to Yes, yeah, so what do you redeem? It's as nifted. You could redeem it as a tamimin. You're only going through the motions of redemption, but it's really not a redemption. Okay? To be...